Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's making a great weekend. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best to me is take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'll be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 780, NASDAQ's up 276, S&Ps are up 85. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ of 2.5%, 2.3 in the S&P, and 2.4 in the Dow Industrials. Gold. Gold contract down $19.20, trading at 1646. You got silver down 31 cents, $19.18 dollars an ounce. Light sweet crude off of buck eleven, eighty-seven dollars ninety-seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note trading down one point plus four ticks at 121.07. The 30-year is trading down a full well, one point plus four ticks. Sorry, no, the 10 year is down 22 ticks, 110.31. 30 year off a full point plus four ticks at 121.07. The 10 year right now is at 4.010. Uh, dollar. Dollar is up 149 ticks, trading 110.734. The euro is at 99. The yen is out here at 147.44. And the British pound is at 116 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the bottom line, we're going to go to these big dogs first because what we had is that, you know, well, no, let's go to the S&P first. Okay, so let's take a look at the S&P. Um, bottom line, inside the S&P, well, here, no, this is where I'm going first. I'm going, if you remember, when we were getting off the air yesterday, the bottom line, you had the pullback. The pullback was with much lighter volume, and you can see how this is shaking out. Um, this was... Uh, this was the NYSE, so we did about the same. One billion versus one billion, okay, on the pullback. Now watch this, though. Watch the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ, you had 5.2, and you're pulling back with 4.7. Now, when that happens, folks, what I've found is this, is that this is about as twisted as you can get, meaning that if you believe in price and volume, you know, and, and I do, and I've been doing it so long, like yesterday when he was pulling back with light volume, and then after the close, man, after the close, folks, it was a disaster. You know, Amazon, I think they're here. Well, let me see. I'll just show you. Because we were down like 350 points inside the NQ at one point. Yeah, beautiful. Here it is. Okay, so we were, we were down, okay, at 10,921. Okay, so the bottom line is that you're, you're up 650 points from there, right? So... You can imagine, it's like, okay, man, I didn't get this one, man. This is really screwed up. <laughs> and, but the bottom line is that I knew that volume. I'm saying to myself, I've seen, it, I've seen this happen before. And it's the consistency, you know, that you kind of have to go through this with the consistency. Like, okay, man, this thing wants to go. And sure enough, this morning, okay, if you were in, in, in front of a machine this morning, you know, you could kind of see it. And what also happens is this, inside the NDX 100, I, I believe I brought this up yesterday, inside the NDX, this Gilead has always been a high weight structure that you never think about inside the NDX. This is what's pushing the NDX out here in a monster way also. I mean, it's helping it, okay? But it was helping it right off the get-go. It opened at 74.36 and you know, the bottom line, you're at 7878. 78. Um, Intel, Intel also, bottom line, you know, but everyone knows about Intel. There's plenty of people that don't know about Gilead, but Gilead, I've been trading Gilead for a long period of time. If Gilead goes down, that can drag the indice down with it. Bottom line, and we can see what happened. You get, you, you, you've twisted right around in a monster way. Now, that being said and done, now kind of let's go through it. Because what you have here, now, you can see, I mean, Apple, you know, that's an ABC up now. You know, we'll, we'll see how that's, you're blowing away a B point. You have volume behind the move, all of the above. You got, uh, I think we own this one right now. I think it's going to be another ABC up, too. 
Yeah, so, no, it's not. It's not. Because it's, it's, well, it already is an ABC app, but this is, uh, you know, you get uh, General Mills taking out the swing today. And, yeah, you're not going to have enough volume. But the bottom line, higher prices they want. Okay, so now let's go through these indices. We take up, we take a look at the SPY first. And what we have with the SPY is that now you are getting a big contraction of volume, okay? Yet you're going into ICE. ICE is set up at 390, folks. So we're at 389.24. So this is where basically the pedal, you know, hits the metal. And I suspect that's exactly what we're going to get. Now, you can see there's two different things that end up happening here. Is that you're not only into ICE, but you're also at a 50% retracement of the move. So you got to be careful here, man. This thing is not just going to go right to the moon. We go take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. I think they're going to go a little bit higher, believe it or not. <laughs> now, what you have with the three Qs is that because we actually went lower and higher, it's like, okay, you get a lower, lower, the volume's not bad. Now, the, the Qs at a 50% or well, at ICE is 292. I don't see it getting to that point. I see it's going to get challenged at the last high, which is probably the 284. So if we take a look at that and say, okay, what's that whole run of 284? Well, guess what? That's a 0 0.382. Now, that totally makes sense, folks, okay? The reason being is that when you take a look at the market, oh, here, now let's go to the Dow, because the Dow was in the ABC up. I think the Dow finished the ABC up. Look at this, man. <laughs> Unreal. Actually, let me do the diamonds. So we take a look at the diamonds. The diamonds are coming into, this probably just 786, man. You got to love expansion contraction theories. Look at this, man. 786. 76, rather. 76 is at uh, 32, 328. Three, three, I can't read that right there. It's about three, three. It's just a little bit higher than we are. So I suspect that we, we start coming in next week. Um, the bottom line is that you more than likely are going to start building some cause. Cause the sideways move. That's actually telling me that more than likely we're going to see is that the dollar is going to probably start rising up, going into the Fed. Uh, trading market, we, it's a big trade market. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.